Hi everyone, welcome to Shakespeare Walkthrough Macbeth Character Analysis. If you find these videos useful, please like and subscribe. And if you make a donation, you'll get a complete set of the PDFs I use in this series. See the description for details. There's a reason we love these guys. And it's the reason that I've just talked about. Even if we, even if we, we, get, we, we, we were too comfortable uh, in, in, a, in our safe civilization, we do have this underlying sense that, you know what, yeah, maybe we do, maybe the world is a dangerous place. Maybe there are tigers and bears that want to eat us. And maybe we do need a guy that's, that's, that's got a moral anchor and, and, and muscle to, to, to make the world uh, better. Uh, these movies will never, never go out of fashion, ever. It's, it's what we want. Uh, it's what we need. We want what we need. Uh, unless we get corrupted and or lazy like in a in a too soft society in a too in a, a, a too comfortable society young seward uh he's not even a character we see him for like four lines we see him for literally like 40 seconds of the of of, of a movie or of a play uh so why on earth does shakespeare waste her time with this young seward at the very very end uh I, I think it's gorgeous and i think it's 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 to to set up a character foil of what a good man is versus what a bad man is and again go back and watch my theme video so he is so young seaward is is uh, we don't get to know him very much we we meet briefly again we 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 meet the father seaward uh when he hears that his son has died but again there's a reason why shakespeare if it's a brilliant play and this is this is a masterpiece one of the great masterpieces of the world and nothing in here is an accident um some of it politically motivated, actually, but I, but but even when Shakespeare's doing a little bit of propaganda stuff, he makes it brilliant. He makes it psychologically uh, uh, verisimilitudinous. He makes it real. Do you see? Uh, so here's the hero sacrifice. The worthy hero gives his life for a greater cause: selflessness, selflessness, a sense of duty, and of course the Christ figure. And and it's not in religious terms. It's just the Christ figure is it, he is a Christ figure. You know, every religion, every every culture has its own version of this, of, of, of the great man, the great woman who give themselves to something bigger than themselves. That's what they are. Uh, and so here's the scene where, where Seward learns that his son has died. Uh, Why then, God's soldier, be he? Had I as many sons as I have hairs, I would not wish them a fairer death. And so his knell be knolled, do you see? So there's a father who recognizes that this is what it means to be a good man. And if the circumstances arise and, 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 and it is required of a man to do this, to protect what must be protected, then that's the way to do it. Uh, and Malcolm, again, in his gracious self, he says, he's worth more sorrow, and that I'll spend on him. That's sincere. He's not, that's, that's, that's absolutely sincere. We've seen that in Malcolm too many times to doubt that he's sincere about that. Uh, uh, and and Seward says, very nobly, he says, uh, he's worth no more. They say he parted well and paid his score, and so God be with him. Uh, lovely, lovely. And again, I've mentioned in other videos that when Shakespeare uses the end rhyme, He's worth no more. They say he parted well and paid his score, and so God be with him. Lovely, lovely poetry. And when Shakespeare uses that end rhyme, it's to intensify the moment, uh, either dramatically at the end of a scene or to intensify the significance of the words being spoken, to elevate it. That's elevated poetry. That, that's an elevation of the Christ figure uh, uh, to something of a no, something to the noble ideal. Do you see what I'm saying? Absolutely gorgeous. I love this. I love this little this little bit in this play. It's it's such a throwaway little device, and it's very often it can be easily skipped in movies, uh, you know, to save time. But I think that that's that that's that would be a tragedy tragic too. So there it is. It's the masculine ideal, the model of right action, courage and strength in the service of others, not in the service of the self. Do you see? That's the manhood theme. And women have their own sacrifice too, by the way. I'm, I'm, I'm talking here about the, the male version of it. Uh, the female sacrifice is, is, is just as great and profound. Uh, so in, in, another, in another way to think of young Seward, he's a character foil because all these lovely things that I've been trying to say about young Seward, you should have in the back of your mind the contrast to that, which is all the horrible things that the Macbeths are. So in that sense, they're a character foil. So he, his actions mirrors Macbeth's, uh, so mirrors Macbeth's right action against MacDonwald. Macbeth started off like this. He started off with a young, potentially a young C word, a guy set, who sets out to set the world aright, do you see? Uh, and, and, but, of course, Macbeth's actions become self-serving when, he, uh, when he's fighting Macduff. Because Macbeth is very, very brave when he, con when he confronts Macduff at the end. Uh, but again, it's, 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 a, it's a corrupt version of that, uh, of that, self, of that bravery and self-sacrifice. Now, here's even more important, I suppose. In this death, 
and so God be with him. And God, if, if you're not a Christian, you can still understand God as the highest good, do you see, what, of what we can attain to, the highest sense of meaning and purpose uh, in an uncorrupted, unwasteland uh, 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 world. Uh, it, you don't have to think of it in Christian terms necessarily. Uh, and that provides that understanding of that ideal and that, that purposeful ideal is what provides meaning. And so C young Seward dies meaningfully versus the existential meaninglessness, the absolute, go back and watch Shakespeare, uh, uh, Macbeth's Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow poem uh, about existential despair, and existentialism is in my theme video too. It's absolutely uh, 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 brutal. You don't want to die like that. You, you, you want to go out, you know, like a young seaward and not like a, a selfish, selfish, uh, corrupt, murderous, uh, burn-it-all-down tyrant like Macbeth. Okay, we'll end with the witches, which is fascinating. And that was Shakespeare Walkthrough Macbeth Character Analysis. I hope you found this useful, and if you did, please like and subscribe, and don't forget to pick up a copy of your PDFs if you need them. Thanks for watching.